Oogie doogie. We got a chicken update here at the Extreme Living Farmstead. So we went to Tractor Supply again this morning and noticed that they had uh, some more chickens. They had a, uh, a rainbow cross, I believe it was, was it what it was called? Well, it looks pretty weird, doesn't it? <laughs> a rainbow cross, we bought 18 of them. They, I guess they're somewhat similar in characteristics to the Rhode Island Red. So we bought 18 of them. And then we bought five more of the uh, white leghorns. So we have 18. One of them goes after food. They all got to go get it like they're, like they're not going to be any more food or something. Anyway, we got 18 of the rainbows, 18 of the white leghorns, uh, 18 of the Cornish rock, and 10 white layer ducks. That's what we have in here right now. At this point, that will be in addition to the, uh, what, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 existing Rhode Island Red hens that we have and the Rhode Island Red rooster that's already out on pasture. Uh, they remain from last year. That'll be our flock. However, I am going to be looking for, I, I would like to get 12 more of the white, I think they're white pecan, pecan, pecan. They're white layer ducks is what they are. That's what they're called, a white layer. Uh, I don't know if you can see them right there. They're kind of yellow right now. Everybody's yellow at this point. But that's the plan. That's going to be the flock this year. Now here at our, our farmstead, the Extreme Living farmstead what we do is everybody lives for two years right they have two of the best years of their life you know they couldn't ask for two better years they're treated like family just about free range not penned up uh, no hormones no GMO food uh, they have a real good life for two years now going into the second year the winter, late fall of the second year, they get cold. <laughs> Not everybody likes to hear about it, but it's just part of life here on a, on a farmstead. Uh, they get uh, turned into or, or, or uh, they, they go to the skillet, basically. They graduate to the skillet, which is you know, just the way it works. Uh, yeah, but... That's it, update. Uh, we extended the pen they're in because we have so many of them now. There's about, uh, what, 65 or 70 animals in here right now. Now they'll be in here. We're gonna, I go to the, uh, I go to Ohio on the third, fourth, and fifth, to, like I said, to train with my buddy Mark and uh, Ronnie Coleman at the power station gym. Now when we come back, it'll be March 7th ish. So they, I mean, it really should be warm enough and uh, I'll show you how and what I plan on doing, but they should be able to go outside in the brooder outside, which they'll probably be in for another two weeks or so, I would say. And then they'll start to go somewhat uh, free range. They'll have a, at least an area of like 35 foot by 40 foot uh, that they can kind of hang out in and we'll, we'll move them around every couple, three or four days. We'll put them in a new spot uh, when they're about, I would say, 10 to maybe, maybe I'd say 12 to 13 weeks old, 14 weeks old. They'll probably just be, you know, free range, paddock shift, free range here at Extreme Living. Dot biz farmstead appreciate you guys watching that's a real quick update it will be the unless something really dramatic happens this will be the last update for the chickens ducks here in the indoor temporary brooder until they get moved outside after i come back uh, from ohio and training uh, make sure again you check out the links in the description below follow me on twitter and instagram and my other two YouTube channels if you're interested. 
I will have videos of me training with my buddy Mark Lobliner, owner, MTS Nutrition. Uh, he's with TigerFitness.com. And of course, you all know, eight-time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman. Videos coming on those channels from that event soon. Appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy. And we will all see you. Bye.